My name is Courtney Stinson. Before I had children, my number one job was uh, as a dietitian. I have a daughter named Ellie who is fed via feeding tube. Since Ellie was born, she has not had muscle strength to swallow on her own. When she was born, she was fed via nasogastric tube. And after a while, she ended up with having surgery to have a G-tube placed, which is a button that's in her stomach. And Ellie actually does not have a diagnosis. We don't know why she has severe hypotonia, which is low muscle tone, but we just continue doing all the therapies and all the things that she needs to grow and thrive. And we're very thankful that from birth, she has just gotten stronger and stronger and able to do more and more. So when Ellie was getting ready to turn six months old, we met with her dietitian and it just was going through my head. Am I supposed, what am I supposed to feed Ellie? I mean, I just realized that throughout my education and um, in college that we never learned that you could put anything but formula through her feeding tube. And so to me, it just didn't make sense. Like why couldn't I just put something in the blender and make it liquid at the same consistency of formula and put it in there? And so I talked to the dietitian about that and she said, well, you can, you certainly can. You can, um, you can blend what you eat. You can, you know, blend certain recipes. And she most likely would actually even thrive and do better than with the formula. So um, with a little help from Ellie's dietitian and loads of research, I just realized that people have been doing this for a long time and Ellie did not have to have formula. She could eat what we eat. So I started blending. So the cookbook that I created is called Cooking for Tubies and it's 25 blenderized tube feeding recipes. And the thing about this book is that some of the recipes in it are for the whole family. I really wanted to include that component of family and eating together because eating is such a social thing. So some of the recipes are created so that one meal can be cooked and shared with the whole family, including the person who needs their meal blended to be fed via feeding tube. You can go to cookingfortubies.com and there's a link to the book on Amazon from there. So most of Ellie's blends when I'm getting ready to prepare them, um, I usually try and think about like the my plate method and having it a balanced meal. And so maybe one of the most important ingredients is that I have coffee for me. And um, this one is inspired by um, it, like breakfast, oatmeal, like cinnamon raisin oatmeal, but also I was kind of thinking um, ants on a log. So I usually do about one cup milk and one cup of kefir it has probiotics in it and they're just really good for gut health. So we just put the celery in and banana, approximately a tablespoon of peanut butter. This is cooked oatmeal with some raisins. Then we're gonna add some cinnamon. There's just a lot of really good phytochemicals and a lot of spices and herbs that have a lot of health benefits. All right, so I have my grains, I have oatmeal, I have vegetables, I have celery. For fruit, we have raisins and banana. We'd have milk and kefir for our two cups of dairy. For the protein, we have peanut butter. So now we put the lid on and we blend and it gets very loud. That made approximately four cups. I like to use wide mouth canning jars for this that have the straight edges because we can put these right into the freezer and freeze in them. And then I have uh, plastic lids that we use. I usually just write Ellie's name and then the date. And I think today's what, 14th? So that works pretty good. So then we can put some in the refrigerator, some in the freezer. And I mean, that's it for that. I mean, that made four cups of, of food and it's approximately 1200 calories. Sometimes for dinners, we'll blend up whatever we're eating or we'll, use portions of what we're eating to blend for her. You hungry? Yeah? Where should we put your food? Where should we put your food? It goes in there. Yep, that's right. 
the more I practiced blending and the more I met other people who were doing the same thing, I realized there was such an amazing need for science-based knowledge and recipes and food from somebody who has kind of lived there, been there, done that too. And so I realized that I'm in a way as Ellie's mom and as a dietitian that I'm perfectly placed as somebody who is trained in food and nutrition and have the educational background, but I'm also living the tube feeding journey day to day. After Ellie started uh, blenderized tube feedings, she was just doing so much better. And I wanted to share that and I wanted to help people feed their families well, but I also wanted to help take the stress out of it because it's so stressful to worry about what your child is going to eat at every meal. Okay, ready? Push. I'm so grateful that I'm able to see, you know, kind of the big picture and see the needs and realize that everything about having a child with special needs and having a child with a feeding tube, it's not just all terrible. You know, I'm able to kind of look past the the bad days and the tough times and realize that this experience is helping me help so many people in a way that I never thought was possible. And so I'm just really fortunate that I'm in this place where I can do something with what I've learned. Mm -hmm.